Hi guys, today I'm going to start a little series on stress. So previous to today when we've spoken about stress, we've talked about how it impacts our brain and the idea that the arousal in our brain goes up and then hopefully comes down to baseline. But when we're stuck in this pandemic, the arousal is going up and it's having a harder and harder time coming down to baseline. And we might refer to this as our lid being flipped and having a harder time coming back down which is noted by an amazing neuropsychologist, uh, Daniel Siegel. We also might notice that our, the metaphor of our e-brake is being stuck on, which comes from some of the self-regulation school of thoughts. Both of these metaphors are really, really key because our brain is, is having a hard time and so is our body. Today we're going to go over three stages of stress. So the first stage, this is mobilization of energy. This is pretty normal. This is what typically we can experience where we have arousal and we're probably going to come back down. Um, but the mobilization of energy, usually how we say this is this is our fight or flight reaction. That in each one of us there is a fight that is elicited, a fight. A freeze or some people might even notice a faint reaction when there's stress in my life that I have just this instinctual response now this can be due to normal stressors a car accident I stub my toe getting married graduating something that elicits that arousal reaction in our brain we have a little bit of a rush symptoms of this stage one Increased heart rate and blood pressure, rapid breathing, sweating, decreased digestion rate, creating butterflies or indigestion in our stomach. So that's a stage one. Stage two is this exhaustion or consuming of energy. This is when stage one has not stopped. So that car accident incident or stubbing my toe um, is perpetuating just like we're seeing right now the stress of the pandemic is not short-lived we're dealing with it day to day so in stage two um, there's no escape from stage one the body will begin to release stored sugars and fats using up its body's resources and symptoms of this stage some of us may feel very driven or feel a strong sense of pressure we can notice tiredness and fatigue, increased use of vices, smoking, over-consuming coffee, over-consumption of alcohol, use of drugs. The vice thing is definitely something that people are speaking about right now. Increased anxiety, memory loss or difficulty, recalling incidents, acute um, illnesses such as cold or flu, so our immune system is being impacted and we notice our health is not as well. More migraines right now, um, and allergies are intensified during this season, switching from winter to spring. All right, so stage three, and this is this becomes more serious, so the draining energy stores in our body. If the stressful situation is not resolved, you may become chronically stressed. The body's need for energy resources exceeds its ability to produce them. The, the imbalance, the e-brake has been on for far too long and it's starting to impact how the vehicle, our body is operating. Our lid is not closing and there's a risk. If my lid doesn't close, something is not being protected within me. Um, and the symptoms here are heart disease, ulcers, mental illness, insomnia, so difficulty falling asleep, difficulty maintaining sleep, or difficulty um, waking up too early, earlier and earlier in the morning. Errors in judgment, poor judgment, and personality change. So there is this real risk that's going on for us due to the stress that we're in. And I think that it's really important that we're considering some prevention right now we don't want to get six months down the road and the accumulation of the stress is so great that our brain and our body is struggling even further. So there's really important things. Watching these vlogs is something that you can do. All right. Cardio is something that you can do to cool down your hot brain. 
prayer and meditation is something that you can do. If you don't know how, Google it. If you don't know how to set a goal for walking or running, Google it. There's so many resources out there nowadays. Take care of what you are taking into your body. Practice moderation with food, eating healthy foods, uh, managing whatever vices, if it's candy, if it's alcohol, um, or if it's smoking and drugs, please, please, you guys, just be mindful and aware that you, we aren't overdoing it in one way. Okay, you guys, we're gonna keep going on with stress. There's a few other pieces that I'm pulling together here. Take care, you guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye.